Hello! It's time for my favorite video of the month because it's pretty easy to film. This is my October 2019 planner flip through and I'm I'm really happy in here right now. I'm going to show you everything I've got set up. Some things have changed, some things haven't. I am still in my Filofax Malden ochre in the pocket size and I'm loving it. It's very fall. It still makes me so happy when I see it. I don't know, something about it feels really professional in a way that even the gray kind of didn't quite achieve. I don't know why, but I like it. Um, as always, I've got my Pilot G2 stuck in the rings and then the friction colors actually fits nicely in this pen loop because I got this pre-loved. Uh, the pen loop was already a little bit stretched out. So that just makes it a little bit easier and I use this for my trackers and for color coding and stuff. So um, I still have the same dividers from last month. These I laminated a piece of tissue paper with glitter in it and just straight stuck it through the laminator and cut it to size and they're working fine. The edges are holding up just great. And I like that they're kind of translucent and yeah, they're pretty cool. So then I've got here this little sticker from the Little Red House, and I really like how I didn't plan this, but it kind of looks like he's watching the uh, the butterflies on the page behind. <laughs> Here's the monthly setup in my Peanuts Planner Co. insert. So I've got first my monthly um, like list format with just sort of tasks and events generally. Then this is my Instagram. Um, planning, I guess. I sort of have a checkbox for every day and I, I try to post on Instagram once a day. I've got here a little printout of the plan with me challenge on Instagram. I'm using this as sort of a little bit of an inspiration. If I can't think of what to post, I might pick a topic from here and it's just in the middle so that it makes it easy um, to reference it. And then here is my habit tracker for the month. You can see I've done okay-ish. Um, some days better than others. And then in the middle, I stuck this. This is actually from the Peanuts Planner Co. Undated uh, Yearly Bundle. And I just trimmed down the one month and covered the other part in washi. This normally is like a year on six pages kind of fold out thing with like a line per day, but then it's actually like a grid. So they're like boxes. I find it's really helpful for like a, like a volume tracker um, or like, you know, if each box represents 30 minutes of working towards a habit or something like that, then you can, you know, use it like a bar graph as you fill up. What I have it as currently is, I you know, don't know if you can actually see very well, but along the bottom I used yellow because whatever. Um, each one of these columns represents a two hour window. And so I've been trying to also post to stories. As you can see, I'm not very good at this whole Instagram thing. It's really secondary to my YouTube channel, but I'm trying to be a little bit more active there. If you want to follow me, my username is Ganchi underscore. Um, there's a link down in the description. So for every time I post Insta stories, I put a little X on the day and the uh, hour or the two hour window that I do that in to kind of get an idea of my habits, but really there aren't any. I'm not like focusing on a goal of trying to do it. Like I'm trying to post a, a photo every single day, but I'm not really making a goal out of my stories, but I'd like to do it more. So I'm hoping that this, well, the idea was that this would inspire me, but so far, I don't know. Um, oh, and yeah, on the mood tracker, originally I had just put like a little smiley face and a frowny face, and then I covered those up uh, with some little um, emoji stickers from Twin 16, because I thought that they were a lot more cute. So there you go. Then I've got my categorized list. I was going to use this as overflow once I filled up this side, but then I accidentally started writing on this side first. So now I'm just kind of using both sides depending on how the mood strikes and kind of going down evenly. Uh, basically, this is my catch all to do list that I categorize uh, based on whether it's like a quick thing, I can do it anywhere, I need a computer, I need to be at home, or I need to run an errand. And I've been using this a lot. I mean, maybe not checking off. Well, I don't know. I've been checking off a good number of things, but I've been really relying on this more and getting better into the habit of checking it more. And I really like it. Um, I also am using a similar system farther back, which I will show you. I might show you. Then here's my bra tracker. I did a whole video on this, which you can see up in the corner. 
Um, since that video, my addition has been that when I um, wear the bra for the sixth time, which is the point after which I want to wash it, I'll put a box around it. And then once I've washed it, I cross that off. So you'll see here, like I've crossed these off because I washed them, but then I have these three that still need to be washed. So I'm going to do that this week. And when I do, I'll cross them off. So when I look back, I can see, oh yeah, that happened. Because occasionally it'll be like the second time I'm wearing the bra. And then I end up doing a lot of strenuous exercise and need to wash it sooner. So it just makes things a little bit clearer. Uh, my NFP chart. This is sort of just a reminder to me of things that I'd like to try to get done once a week. Um, so just having this in the front makes me see it all the time to remind myself. Here's my waiting on list, which I don't use very often, and my someday maybe list, which is starting to look messy. And when things look like this, where it's like almost to the bottom of the page, but there's some things that have happened, some things I've crossed off, so it's harder to see at a glance what still needs to be done. Um, so I, at this point, I wanna just remake this list and remove everything that doesn't need to be here and start over with a fresh list. Then this first tab, is where my Mun Weeklies live. If you saw my Mun Weekly Plan With Me video a couple weeks ago, um, you saw me, you know, doing this cover and it's like, oh, so pretty. And then I, I planned all of this out outside of the binder. I didn't have it on the rings when I filled it out. So I didn't even notice that I was putting it on the wrong side. <laughs> so it was supposed to go here so that you can see it say October through, but Instead, I went ahead and just stuck some stickers. These are all from Hobby Lobby. And I just think it looks actually pretty pretty nice. So I'm not disappointed. So you go, it says October. And here are my weeks. Um, this is that first one that I planned in that video, which is up in the corner. And you'll see here some of the boxes I put um, like a square around with the same friction colors pen basically to highlight them. The nice thing about it being erasable is I can highlight sort of the things I want to get done that one day and then erase them when they're done. Um, if I want to, if I want to keep things clear, um, and unambiguous, this was a sort of kind of daily, but it didn't really go to a specific day. I don't even remember at this point, but there you go. Spare space for that kind of thing. Uh, these were definitely dailies though. This was, I always do like one daily for the whole weekend. And I'm really liking the header stickers. These are from Annie Plan, I'm sorry, from Planner Kate on Etsy. And then these ones here are the ones that I told you about like last month uh, from that shop in Canada. These are from Sweet Tea Sticker Shop, Sticker Co. Sweet Tea Stickers. They're on Etsy as well. She's in Canada. And she was super sweet. I contacted her and said, they still haven't come. I don't know how long I'm supposed to wait. Can you let me know if they're still on their way or whatever? She's like, let me just send you another set. So honestly, I have no idea if this is the first set or the second set, but they came and I'm so glad they finally came because I love the lettering on these. So it's the same idea as these ones, um, but just a different font. So I've got my to-do list on this tiny little column. These are my videos and then these are dinners. And then this will be for dailies. I'm filming this on Monday evening. So I've crossed a couple of things off, but as you see here, like I finished a couple of these things. So now I don't have to worry about them being highlighted anymore, but I already highlighted the thing I definitely want to do tomorrow. So that's kind of, as I set up for the day, I go, okay, yeah, I can do this. I can do this. Like I have to do to return my library books because they're due tomorrow. And so it just, at a glance, I can go, oh yeah, those are the things off this giant weekly task list. These are the ones I'm going to do today and then erase it when I'm done. Anyway, these uh, inserts are from mysummertouch.com. If you want to check them out, I do recommend them. They're really cool. And then you have the rest of the, the month here. These are just some stickies. The idea uh, this would be for if there's not room on my weekly for dinners, um, I can stick those here. This next section is for my collections and project pages. And I actually went through and I added a sort of table of contents. This is inspired, of course, by the bullet journal method. Um, 
Not the book, which I haven't read. I mean, the actual method. Um, and since there's no numbered pages in a ring binder, I figured that this might be an interesting way to kind of keep track since it was starting to get, I mean, it's not thick, but there's several different things in here, as you see. Um, I wanted to kind of keep track of where they were to be able to find them easier, but there's no page numbers. I'm not going to go through and number them because what if I have to remove something? So enter sticky notes. I just have everything written on a little sticky note. And as you see, I already removed one project that I finished. So I took the insert out and I removed the sticky note. So I know it's not there anymore. Um, and I can just keep doing that, adding more. I have a couple spare ones here um, as I go along. Anyway, I just thought this was useful. So as you see, we've got a too clean list. I think this is going to become obsolete because I've started to use an app. And I hope if it goes well, I might know a whole video dedicated to it. So I'll tell you more about that later. This is a things I want to organize list. Still haven't made much progress, though I started working on my sock drawer today. This is still I'm trying to organize the kitchen. I think I showed you this in last month's video. These projects don't really have due dates, so they take a while. My honey-do list actually is now living on a wall calendar that I got for our household. Um, so I may or may not keep this in here. It's still here for now, just in case. Um, but basically I have it now in a place where my husband can see it. So it's not just like a list of grievances, but it's like an actual list of requests. So that's a little bit better. Um, this shopping list is just a, you know, piece of note paper from Philopax paper. I made this shopping list, right? It wasn't punched on this side. Just a list of things I needed from one store and then I kept writing other things that I needed from other stores and just became a general catch-all shopping list until it started to get mostly filled up and pretty messy. So I folded it in half, took my hole punch and punched an extra set of holes. And so now it's just this tiny little half sheet um, and it's working okay. I can get a little bit more life out of this list. I probably won't go on the back just cause it just seems silly and I, I would be bugged by the front half being all messy and the back half being used. I don't really want to turn it upside down either, but you can get more use out of an insert that way. No reason that everything has to be full sized. These are our backyard plans slowly, slowly, but surely, but I'm doing some research on some gravel methods for the backyard. So I need to take more notes and this is where those go. These are the uh, library books that are due tomorrow. I keep track of where they are. I'm not sure. Probably not. Last month, I think this was on a different piece of paper, um, but we finally filled out both sides of it. And so I got a new sheet and here we go, all fresh and ready to go. These are a list of a couple books I'd like to read someday if I ever get around to it. Anyway, these are notes for my mobile game. This is my list of things to watch, which is almost done. I should add more things to it, but not, I don't know. The things I need to add to it, like our on top of my mind right now, so I don't really feel like I need to write them down and then just cross them off. I feel like I may as well save the space for something I can't watch right now. I just found out that there are new episodes of um, Call the Midwife on Netflix, so I'm excited for that. This list I kind of want to redo sometime just because it's kind of messy, but or I don't know, ugly because it's been sitting there for a long time, but gift ideas on one side and personal wish list on the other. And then I did a whole video about this spread last week. Um, this is how I plan my meals. And so I basically just pick a random number between one and 20 and pick the meal that's assigned with that number. And that makes it just easier to decide because decisions are the hardest part. This, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. So this level 10 life idea has been around as part of the whole bullet journaling community for a long time. I think it was popularized in bullet journals by um, Boho Berry. I thought I would try it out because I do have some goals in some of these areas, but I haven't got around to writing the goal part yet. Mostly I'm just having fun with colors, but if you've never heard of the level 10 life thing, look it up because Boho Berry will tell you more about it um, in more detail. But there you go. It's just one piece of paper. I figured I'd give it a shot. This section is for my YouTube and blog and Instagram and all that kind of thing section. Um, my brand identity. I don't know. Anyway, um, I have a lot of things clipped off here because I don't really want to show you things before they come out. But um, I have two of these inserts. Um, oh, you can see the other side here. One for my Thursday videos and one for my Sunday videos. 
So this is a 52 weeks insert from Peanuts Planner Co. And every section or every little line, I guess, is a video, um, is a week and the video for that week. So I'm covering up the stuff that uh, you don't get to see yet, but these are just punched. These are little stickers from uh, Twin 16. None of this is new. Here's the new part. I rewrote my, um, like recreated my video ideas list just because sometimes recreating an insert just helps things come into a little bit clearer focus. Um, and then here, I don't really want to show you the whole thing because again, I don't want to like share too many details of things that are upcoming and give anything away. Also, I'm a little embarrassed, but anyway, um, this is my context next action items list for my videos and stuff. And so if there's like scripts to write, um, things that I can do that need to be at the computer and then things that I can do like, from my phone or in my planner or whatever. Um, these are things that I can work on towards this channel. And so it's only three columns because I didn't need all five. And this I'm hoping is really going to be helpful to me, um, specifically when I'm, I'm planning to try to start waking up an hour earlier and doing a little bit of that stuff before the baby wakes up. I was going to start today and then she had a terrible night and woke up at like four and needed me. So it didn't happen. I got a new insert from Peanuts Planner Co. and this one is called Goal Planning. I really like how tiny each of these little goal sections is. And so basically if I have a goal for my channel, I write it here and then I can list the, uh, the steps here, do a little brainstorming in the middle. It's really tiny. I like that because these aren't like massive goals, you know, that I'm have any way of figuring out how to work towards. These are like little things like, you know, pitch a collab with this user or write a blog post about this or, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, again, I'm not showing you the ones that I actually have written down, but the idea here is I, I have all of the things written on the list and then I highlight the one that's like active that I can work on right now and then write that on the next action items list and then um, go through every so often whenever I've done something there, cross that off, highlight the next thing. So that's, I'm, I'm excited about this. It hasn't come into like massive fruition yet, but I have done more brainstorming on some things that have been on the back burner. So that at least is a start. And then back here, we've got more of these little half pages. Um, these I use for my video prep sometimes. And they've got like all the checklists along the side of different steps along the video production process. Uh, then I think there's just a couple more note pages of channel things. This section is for MH. It probably doesn't need its own section at this point, but it still does. Uh, MyHogwarts.com, I know I mention it a lot, but if you're a fan of Harry Potter and you like immersive communities on a forum base, um, welcome to MyHogwarts.com. This is the year calendar, so I can remember like what week of what year we're in in the actual year and then these are my recurring to-do lists and so for the two jobs that I have there's you know this many weeks in the year and I cross it off in my friction pen so that come summer I can then erase everything and start over again the next year because it's the same stuff over and over again I just don't want to forget it and then this is where I keep track of everything at the Wizarding University which is one of my jobs these are some brainstorming ideas and some notes about some upcoming changes to the site. Then this section here, first I've got a brand new brain dump page. I'm calling it a landing pad now because like whatever. Basically I wasn't sitting down and dumping my brain so I figured I would just call it something else. It's the idea is if I don't know where something goes immediately, I can just write it down here and not have to worry about it getting lost. And then later I can migrate it somewhere else in my planner or cross it off if it's something quick and easy. Um, but it's just kind of a catch all section right here. Then there's like a little divider and then my future log, which is this lovely fold out. And I'm coloring uh, the months and adding a little bit of this washi tape uh, as the months come by. And so there's only two more months left undecorated and I kind of like how that looks years filling out. Then this is my future log for next year and thereafter um, any future years. So I have like one thing in 2022, but mostly just things that are coming up for the rest of like the school year. And then I will basically take all of this and migrate it to another one of these when I set up my 2020 planner, which I'm not going to do until like early December at the soonest. This insert is all of my birthdays and anniversary dates that I don't want to forget. 
And then this is my recurring tasks list. It's a mess, but it works. It's everything that I need to do on a specific basis. So I'll have the task and then some of these are written down like I want to do this every six months, every two months, every 45 days, whatever. And so once I do it once, I then will like project it out for the next one. It just keeps me um, grounded. But this whole section of future log and all of this, I really only reference this once a month when I'm setting up my uh, monthly calendars and stuff at the very front. Um, this is here, so if something comes up in November, I can write it down, but then I'm not going to take anything out of here again until I set up my November, so I don't flip through this very regularly. Then the very last section is just some extra paper. I need to put more lists in here. I've got some grid paper. I've got one last sheet of this colored paper. I've been kind of trying to use it up because I'm not a huge fan. This paper is a little bit too slick, and it takes the G2 too long to dry. Um, I've got like two little jot pads in here. I should probably refill those as well. A couple more of these Plan with Anna stickers, a couple spares, Twin 16 stickers, and in the back is my credit cards, and then some um, sampler stickers from various shops. In the back, I've still got this little um, laminated, you can't really see, but Winnie the Pooh is on there holding a balloon and I just have some various washies for the month. And then my camera's about to run out. So I think that is where I'm going to leave you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.